Why is all clad so expensive? What makes it so special? And is it worth the high price? In this review, I reveal the truth about Allclad after using it for over 10 years and testing every collection. You'll learn about its design, performance, and durability, and I'll show you what it looks like after almost 30 years of regular use. I'll also explain why Allclad recently agreed to a $4 million settlement and what their biggest competitors are doing now that Allclad's original patent has expired. So before you spend your hard-earned money on Allclad, watch this video to the very end. Before I talk about the design, performance, and durability, it's important to understand that Allclad has several cookware collections, and each collection is designed for different cooking styles and budgets. D3 is Allclad's original, best-selling, and most affordable stainless steel collection. It has three-ply construction with the durable top and bottom steel layers and a conductive aluminum core that extends throughout the pan, including the sides. Allclad's founder invented this fully clad construction decades ago, hence the name Allclad, but it has since become the industry standard. D3 Everyday is a revamped version of D3 with the same construction, but a larger cooking surface and more comfortable handles. Instead of three layers, the D5 collection is made up of five bonded layers, including a thin steel core. This collection is more expensive than D3, but the steel core slows heat transfer allowing the pans to heat slightly more evenly. Copper Core is Allclad's most expensive collection. The exterior is steel, but the inner layers are aluminum and copper. And since copper has a much higher thermal conductivity than aluminum and steel, this cookware heats up and responds to temperature changes more quickly. G5 Graphite Core is Allclad's newest collection. It's made of five layers, including a thin graphite core disc. Graphite is highly conductive and lightweight, so these pans heat fast and are easy to maneuver. Although Allclad is best known for its stainless steel cookware, it makes quality non-stick pans too. HA1 is its most popular non-stick collection. It has a four millimeter thick, hard anodized aluminum base, a triple layer non-stick coating, and a steel induction plate bonded to the bottom. The Essentials collection has the same construction, but lacks the steel induction plate. This cookware costs less, but it's not compatible with induction. As you just saw, Allclad offers a variety of collections with unique designs, but I want to call out a few elements I like, one that is consistently the top complaint about the brand, and one that has caused a class action lawsuit that Allclad recently settled. Starting with the good stuff, I love that Allclad offers both polished and brushed exteriors. The D3, D3 Everyday, and Copper Core collections have a beautiful polished exterior, with a mirror-like finish. The G5 collection has a brushed finish that looks more modern and does a better job of hiding fingerprints and smudges. The D5 collection comes in both polished and brushed. I also like how Allclad shapes the body of their pans, especially the fry pans. The walls are sloped and the rims are flared, which makes it easy to flip eggs and slide food onto a plate, but they aren't too shallow. They have enough height to contain ingredients and limit splatter. Allclad does a nice job with the minor details. The straight handles are long and get thinner as you get closer to the pan, which helps disperse heat and keep them cool. They also have a small bump underneath to warn you when your hand is getting too close to the heat. Most all-clad handles have a prominent upward angle, which makes it easy to tip the pan forward for basting or coating the pan with oil and allows you to keep your hand away from the heat. The downside is that you need a little bit more room between oven racks to fit the pan. For context, there are five inches between the bottom of the pan and the top of the handle. Made-in handles are positioned at a much lower angle. There are only three and a half inches between the bottom of the pan and the top of the handle. The most common complaint complaint about Allclad is that the handles are uncomfortable. As you may have noticed, Allclad handles have a cup-shaped design. They're rounded on the bottom with a concave groove on top. This design ensures your hand won't rotate when you tilt your wrist, even if your hand is greasy or you're wearing an oven mitt. But if you're used to more rounded or flat handles, Allclad handles will feel awkward. When Allclad originally designed the handle, they did so with professional chefs in mind. And since pro chefs often grab the handle while holding a towel or oven mitt, the design was ideal. However, the concave shape shape is unnecessary and uncomfortable for most home cooks. Fortunately, Allclad has listened to this feedback and newer collections like D3 Everyday, G5, and Essentials have newly designed handles with a much more subtle indentation on top. Another design element that could be improved, especially given the high cost of these pans, is the rivets. Other premium cookware brands like Heston and DeMeyer make pans with flush rivets or welded handles with no rivets at all. Although rivets are a secure way to attach the handle, they tend to 
collect grime and can be a pain to keep clean. Lastly, the edges right along the rim of the pan are not sealed, which allows you to see the bonded layers. While some people like this because it showcases the quality of construction, it can cause issues. In fact, Allclad recently settled a class action lawsuit because of this. The lawsuit alleges that Allclad advertised its cookware as dishwasher safe, but when cleaned in the dishwasher, one or more of the bonded layers become thin and sharp. Essentially, when you put these pans in the dishwasher, the aluminum core can shrink and recede over time. And when this happens, the thin steel layers on the top and bottom can stick out, and these layers can become sharp. Allclad did not admit to wrongdoing, but they agreed to a settlement and to refund or replace any damaged pans. Since it's legal trouble, Allclad now says its pans are not dishwasher safe. Although unsealed edges are common and not an issue if you avoid the dishwasher, brands like Sardell, Heston, and Misen make pans with sealed rims to avoid this issue altogether. I've been cooking with Allclad for over 10 years and have tested every collection. I've seared steak, sauteed vegetables, fried chicken, cooked eggs, simmered sauces, and more. After years of use and dozens of head-to-head -head tests against top-rated brands, I can confidently say that Allclad performs as well or better than any other cookware I've reviewed. It heats up fast and evenly and maintains a consistent temperature. I recently tested Allclad against Made In, and as you can see below, the chicken browned nicely and cooked evenly in both pans. I also I also tested Allclad against Hexclad and both pans put an excellent sear on salmon and the Allclad HA1 pan did a much better job preventing eggs from sticking. I tested Allclad Copper Core against the startup brand Goldilocks and the chicken browned much faster in the Allclad pan due to the fast heating Copper Core. What I like most about Allclad is that each collection performs differently which allows you to choose pans based on your cooking style and needs. For example, D3 is the most well-rounded collection. It heats fast, responds quickly to temperature changes and holds heat well. D5 heats slower and more evenly and is more forgiving, so you're less likely to burn or overcook your food if you accidentally turn the heat too high. Copper Core and G5 pans react incredibly fast to temperature changes. These collections are for cooks who want more control over their cooking. They're ideal for fish, onions, sauces, garlic, and any other ingredient that requires frequent temperature adjustments. For context, Copper Core and G5 pans boiled two cups of water about 20% faster than D3, HA1, and D5 pans in my standard heat conduction test. In fact, Copper Core and G5 heat up more quickly than almost all of the 30 plus brands I've tested. However, because of their high thermal conductivity, Copper Core and G5 pans don't retain heat as well as Allclad D3 and D5 pans. Overall, Allclad's performance is excellent and lives up to the hype. Besides the handles that aren't as comfortable as other brands, the only other common complaint about Allclad and any other stainless steel cookware really is that food sticks. Delicate foods like eggs and fish are prone to stick, but if you preheat the pan, add enough oil, and allow the food to cook for a few minutes before you touch it, it will naturally release from the pan. One thing you're guaranteed to get with Allclad is durability. When you pick up and hold these pans, you can feel it. They're thick and heavy, so they stay flat on the stove and won't dent or warp, and the handles won't ever budge. Almost every stainless steel cookware brand says their pans will last a lifetime, but Allclad is one of the few that can prove it since the company has been around for so long. Thousands of customers have owned Allclad pans for decades, and although they may look a little tarnished, they still perform wonderfully. Here's a look at a pan that I've used for a year, and here's a pan that I've been using for about seven years. And here is my parents' Allclad saucepan that they bought in 1995 and have been using at least a few times a week since then. Almost 30 years later, this pan still sits flat on the stove and heats as evenly as it did from the beginning. If you prefer to buy American-made cookware, I have good and bad news. The good news is that Allclad manufactures the bodies of their stainless steel pans at their factory in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, using local steel, aluminum, and copper. They have extremely high quality standards, and pans with even the slightest imperfections are sold at steep discounts during Allclad's Factory Seconds sales events. However, while the pan's bodies are American-made, the lids and handles are produced in China and attached to the pans in the U.S. Also, Allclad's non-stick collections like HA1 and Essentials are made entirely in China. It's worth noting that while Allclad operates out of its Pennsylvania headquarters, the company was acquired years ago by the French consortium Group Seb. Allclad is one of the most expensive cookware brands on the market. But why? Well, there are a few reasons. 
It's mostly made in the US. They use quality materials. The manufacturing standards are high and they work with pro chefs to develop unique pans with combinations of metals that you won't find with other brands like the G5 Graphite Core Collection. But the main reason Allclad is so expensive is because of the prestigious brand it's built over several decades and the consistently high demand that comes with that. Allclad was founded in 1971 by John Ulam, an expert in bonding metals. At the time, most cookware was made of aluminum, which reacts with acidic foods, or steel, which is durable but a poor heat conductor. Leveraging his expertise in bonding metals, Ulam recognized he could create an ideal cookware material by bonding stainless steel and aluminum. He obtained several patents for his bonding process, giving Allclad a significant head start and a major competitive advantage. Throughout the 80s and 90s, Allclad cemented itself as the leader in premium fully clad stainless steel cookware. It was the brand to buy and became somewhat of a status symbol which it still is today. Although the company has continued innovating, the original patents on their three-ply aluminum core fully clad pans have expired. Today, brands like Misen, Goldilocks, Cuisinart, and Calphalon produce similar fully clad pans at lower costs by manufacturing in China. However, Allclad maintains an advantage and can continue to demand higher prices because of the reputation it built up over decades, its first mover status, and its loyal customer base. So is it still worth buying Allclad when you can get almost the same design and construction from other brands at a much lower price? In my opinion, Allclad is well worth the investment for a few reasons. First, they offer more variety than almost every other brand, so you can mix and match collections based on your cooking style and budget. Second, the quality control is in a class of its own. And third, it's one of the few brands that has proven it will last for decades. So despite the high initial price, the long-term value is excellent. That said, brands like Maiden, Misen, and Heritage Steel make excellent quality stainless steel pans for less, and you might like their handle designs better. If price is the one thing holding you back, you have two options. First, sign up for my free newsletter in the pinned comment, and I'll email you when Allclad goes on sale or when they launch one of their Factory Seconds sales events. The second option is to check out this video where I break down the best alternatives to Allclad that cost less. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.